So in this video, we're going to create another door, but this time it's going to be a sliding door. So back over to my create panel and in the geometry menu, I'm going to make sure that the doors menu is chosen and I'm going to choose the sliding door option. So in my viewport, I'm going to click and drag out the width of my door. Once I set my width, I can drag out the depth. And then once I click to set the depth, I can drag out the height of my door and set that by a left mouse click. So the parameters for this particular door, if I come over to the modify panel, are very similar to the pivot door. We can adjust frame size, leaf parameters, and so on. The main difference here is that we have this sliding opening instead of a hinged opening. So if I uh, adjust the opening value here, we can see this door sliding. I can change the, uh, the, the position of the sliding door from front to back, and I can also flip the sliding pane, the, the sliding panel size from left to right. So here's a nice example of a sliding door, fully parametric. We can adjust all of the parameters. We can add a bevel to the, the panel as well and adjust or, and increase the number of horizontal and vertical panels if we so choose. So there's full, full adjustment here, full parametric adjustment possible with this particular sliding door type. So again, very useful, often a good starting point for creating quite a detailed and um, functional door object.